Good morning, Monday morning. Got a beautiful day today yet again. We have, along the coast, we've got some swell that's been building. This is trussels from earlier this morning. Uh, it's going to be good all week, so pretty much along the entire California coast, if, especially if you favor a south swell, places like Point Conception, Ventura, Santa Cruz, Bolinas, in some cases up at the, um, at the reefs, uh, you're going to see some of this. So some good swell coming our way. We're going to look at uh, some of what I've been doing the last couple of weeks. I was on a vacation for a while, just doing some fishing and hiking and biking. There's heat advisories in Northern California for the second straight day. So that's got fire danger up a little bit, but not too bad. And then we've got uh, thunderstorms in the mountains again for numerous days. We've had day after day after thunderstorms. These thunderstorms are going to be a little further north of Lake Tahoe. Um, there might be some in around Truckee and what have you, but it's not going to be as centered on Lake Tahoe. It's going to be more up towards South to Lassen. And that's a nice set right there, right? So yeah, they call that. I'd call that five foot. I think they're calling it three to four or four to five. It looks bigger than that, but surfers call the back backs of the waves typically, especially a place like Trestles. But you can see the lines coming in a southerly swell, a southwesterly swell for the most part, and that's going to continue all week. So a pretty awesome pattern for surfers, if you will. Uh, this is us right now. We've got a lot of fog along the coast. Today's inversion, we'll look at that. Um, but basically, you don't even need me to, we don't even need to do the Mount Tam Cam. You can look at this footprint, fog footprint, and you can see, look at the, the push, right? What is that about? Mount Tam's not too covered. You know, I'm gonna say, without even looking at Mount Tam, I'm gonna say, I haven't looked yet either. I'm gonna guess the inversion's at about 16, 1700 feet, okay? Um, but you can see down in Southern California, this is this morning. This is as of 11 o'clock this morning. Laguna, San Diego, Santa Barbara, you're in the fog. Out by Palm Desert, out in Palm Springs, temperatures today will be back into the low 100s. Lots of triple digits here. Lots of triple digits here. Redding today is going to go buck six. Red, 106. Redding tomorrow will drop down below 100 degrees. So temperatures slightly cooler uh, than they have been. So we'll take a peek at the goes east. This is the satellite. There's a goes west and a goes east. Geo, geo orbital earth stationary satellites. These are weather satellites. So we're just switching from one satellite to another. And a little bit of smoke. You can kind of still see it coming in here and through the, the Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, into Minnesota, and then you see this weather here. This is some activity. So if we look at the concerns, the weather concerns, that is, watches and warnings, you got your heat advisories and heat warnings and higher fire dangers as well. Here, I think this is an extreme, yeah, extreme heat warning. Those, I don't like those, man. That's out towards kind of Bakersfieldy, kind of, yeah, kind of um, Bishop, mostly Bishop, yeah, mostly up in the high desert, up around White Mountains. But those are, those are rough. Those are rough. And these areas don't often have a lot, especially in the, the Bishop area, they don't have a lot of air conditioning. So that's a hot one. Uh, the heat advisories in Northern California here. This is for today. And then let's see, smoke. There's some smoke in the upper lakes here. Not too bad in terms of bad air quality. A little bit of bad air quality down in Arizona. And then some rain out here in um, parts of Pennsylvania and New York State. So kind of, not quiet, yeah, kind of quiet. And then there's that smoke. This is a forecast model. And you can see it pushing, this area pushing out towards Buffalo and Toronto. That is through tomorrow. So a lot of smoke. It's higher level stuff, but this dark brown is lower, lower down, thicker, more snow, smoke lower at the surface. So that's been a thing. Here we are. This is this morning. Okay, yeah. I, I'd say 1,700 feet. Hmm. Yeah, it's hard to tell, because, it's, but it's definitely shallower than it was last night at this time. So today's temperatures will be just a, a tad bit warmer. Let's take a look at the loop, and you can see some, um, hopefully we'll see some, some trends in the, the loop, if the loop goes. Come on, go for me. There we go. It's not going to go, is it? It's a problem with open, when you open a bunch of tabs and stuff, you get these there's just you know just glitches it could be my wi-fi too okay so there it is this morning it's a solid 17 1800 feet and then it burns back and it's interesting how it starts to push back that way see how the fog starts to get pressed down in the mill valley 
And this is in the last couple of hours and you'll see some. Yeah. Okay. There you go. And I often do, we often do see people out here in the morning. If you watch the sunrise, you'll get the, I'm going to do it. What the hell? Shall we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, six hours. So if you watch this point, you see some, sometimes you'll see those people come up and watch the sunrise, which I love. I don't know why you wouldn't be here to watch the sunrise, but I see them there. That's a beautiful shot though. All right, so nobody's there this morning. This is the heat advisory. Uh, what does it mean? Well, fire danger certainly comes up, but it's not code red yet, but it is drying out fuel moistures. This time it picks up Paradise, Orville. These are it's an interesting footprint for heat advisory, which we talked about last night a little bit. Um, Hmm, what else can I tell you about this? Well, that's just, there it is. And then you see the red, the um, small craft advisory in the bay. So breezy around the Bay Area and pretty warm, to hot to the north. Again, Redding and Sa well, Sacramento today's 93, not that hot, but Redding 106, Chico 98 degrees. These are the forecast highs for today. And it's gonna be a little cooler tomorrow. So let's do, let's look at tomorrow too. So one two okay let's see what tomorrow looks like yeah so just a little bit cooler 90 in sacramento that's about right 97 in chico redding down to almost almost 100 degrees 99 degrees perhaps alturas 90 degrees and then you get down here in the desert southwest and it's bacon just bacon buck nine out towards palm desert and then los angeles in the mid 70s upper 70s so summer it's summertime. The kids are on break. The sounds of summer are awesome. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay, so now we're looking for thunderstorms. We'll go here. This is the North American. And then you see this afternoon. So this is this afternoon. And you see the load right here. Here's this Bay Area, right? Southern California. And then here's the West Slope of Sierra Nevada. So that's picking up a little bit just north of Whitney all the way up through Lake Tahoe. This is the forecast for this afternoon. There'll be thunderstorms again, and it's been a number of days. Now, widely scattered thunderstorms, but there have been thunderstorms for the last four or five days up along the spine of the Sierra Nevada. So that's one model. This is a more granular model. This is the HRRR rapid update, and it just, it just goes hour by hour. So as we get into this afternoon, the ground gets hot, air starts to rise, and you get this. Now this is showing stuff a little further toward the east and not necessarily right over Lake Tahoe, but you can see up around Bernie, Fall River, that's some activity. They're going to get wet. Trinity Alps a little bit, uh, just out by east of Cot west of Cottonwood, up in the Redding area. Um, but that's how it looks. And then tomorrow, um, we can go back here. Tomorrow you'll see that there's not much activity. Most of it has shifted. This is tomorrow afternoon, Tuesday afternoon. Most of it has shifted up towards Bend, Oregon and uh, Klamath Falls. So it, I think Lake Tahoe, because the reason this comes up is you are on your vacation and you're up at Lake Tahoe and it's thunderstorms. And it, it definitely does. It'll rain on your parade for sure up there. Um, and not for sure, but this time of year, it's not hard to get thunderstorms. This is Mammoth Mountain and we are, are they still skiing? Hmm. Chairlift's not going, What? It's like the Eagles, where everything's stopping. The Eagles have stopped. The chairlifts have stopped. I mean, the Eagles have stopped, but you're going to see. I didn't see anybody in the nest today. Um, yeah, I think they finally, yesterday must have been the last day. Hmm. Oh, no, there's somebody right there. Wow, diehard. 64 degrees right now at Mammoth Mountain. You can see these areas popping through now. These are growing. Oh, there's people. What am I saying? Oh, yeah, they're not. Ah, knew it. They're not giving up. <laughs> it's awesome though this area is connected yesterday this area was snow in the parking lot so it's just it's kind of interesting to watch the snow fall but these guys are not giving it up that's a dirt pile man wow that's awesome we're gonna i i want to see how long these guys can go man okay um here's our nest and yeah and i checked back i went backwards a bit and i didn't see anybody in the nest no so they will come back and visit from time to time. Hopefully, we will see them from time to time over the next few weeks. But it uh, seems like things went pretty well with the birds, which is awesome. I learned so much. I want to thank you guys, too. I learned so much about eagles from you guys. And you know who you are, because I was getting a lot of people chiming in, giving me the inside scoop. Um, I learned a lot about birds, and I just think it's such an awesome exercise. We'll have to find something else to... in. Um, 
to engage at the very end of this cast, because I think this stuff is awesome. Nature snacks, as we're, we're calling them. Um, I didn't do a lot of live cameras today. I'm kind of doing a quick one. My son's home. He was um, up in, uh, where was he, Malta and um, Portugal and Spain, and he's all over the world. He's a he's a uh, action, kind of a, I guess he's an action sports cinematographer. Uh, he's, a, he's a young man who's been traveling the world and has been more places than I will ever go. So he's out in the other room drinking coffee. So I'm going to finish up here and go see him. Um, I wanted to um, show you my, uh, what do we got here? Oh, this is a uh, little what I've been doing. Um, I know, right? Self-indulgent, but also at the same time, I just thought, you know, we're friends. This is um, Fall River. Um, awesome time up there. At, uh, at the Fall River uh, Circle 7, and just spring-fed water, awesome smart fish, really smart fish, really smart fish. Like, I'm, my whole stick for fly fishing is, it's pretty pathetic, actually. I've been fly fishing since I was, like, seven. But I, in terms of tech, there's technical fishermen, and then there's me. And, I'm the, and it, Fall River is for technical fishermen. And I literally just... <laughs> continually move looking for a dumb fish because I have this theory on fish like the really smart ones they know they know what the line looks like they know you're using 1x instead of 2x or 5x instead of 6x but if you're if you every once in a while you'll get a fish that's pissed off maybe his girlfriend fish left him or he missed a frog or I don't know what pisses a fish off but sometimes they get so pissed so you could throw I've thrown dry flies in the middle of the afternoon on a nymph day and I'll pull that big fish. So it's funny. So, so I guess what I'm saying here is Fall River, uh, not necessarily my slap in terms of crushing the fishing because they're smart fish, really smart. I got a couple hits, lost a couple, but didn't never got one in the boat. Uh, the McLeod River, one of my favorite rivers. Been going there since 1965 up at Ash Camp. My dad used to take me up there fishing all the time. That's um, up Ash Camp's right at the dam. Um, these pictures are taken more down towards uh, Adina, down towards the campground. And then my dad, 98 years old, he's, you know, he's slowing down. Like he's sort of in a hospice care, but it's a, you know, it's an awesome thing that they do. But it's kind of Jimmy Carter hospice, I call it, where it's like, I think he's just kind of, you know, he's hanging on. He's not uncomfortable. He's not unhappy. He's just, he's, he's 98. Right, coming up on ninety nine. He's a he had a heart attack when he was thirty four. I know doctors freak out when your dad had a heart attack when he was thirty four. I'm like, yeah, he was the original um, kind of Mad Men. Remember Mad Men that show? Kind of like sixties, kind of drinky, sweary, cocky dude. And I think he got he got ahead of himself <laughs> in his early thirties, and that slowed him down. But he he still kept going. But he quit smoking then. That helped a lot, too. Um, and then this was the other day. Um, I got asked to throw out the first pitch pitch at a, a Little League game. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> I was stoked. And the best part about it was that thing I'm holding. Right there, that's Patrick, my neighbor, who's awesome. Um, the best thing about it is I'm holding uh, what they gave me. They gave me something for throwing out the first pitch. There were like two people there, which was awesome. It was even, at first I was like, oh, this is going to be a big deal. I get there, it's gonna be like, there's going to be 100 people. There's like three people. I'm like, I'm in. I'm freaking in. But anyway, I got, a, I got like a 12-pack of beer. So I'm like, that is awesome. So I'm going to start getting on the circuit, I think. I um, hope you're having a good day. I just wanted to share those with you guys. I'm sticking around for a little while, and then I'm going to be on the road again. Um, again, so today, you got the heat advisories. It's steady as she goes. Temperatures tomorrow will be a little cooler for all. But this pattern, as you know, is kind of staying put. No big changes. Um, Trussell's has plenty of swell, which is sort of awesome to see. And it'll be surf all week along the coast. I'll see you back here tomorrow.